it's live yeah that just sounded horrible but i i, I get the i get the point across here so it, i've been working on this for the last 12 hours not very impressive looking but the amount of new stuff that's gone into making this happen is kind of impressive in itself uh, for one, this is the old assembly line um, conveyor belt thing. I mean, it's going to render pretty much like crap because, well, it's basically what it is. It's not even going to render half the time, apparently. Apparently, like, only one of the states is going to render. Let's see which one of those states is actually... Oh, we found the one state. So, apparently, the south state's the only one that's going to actually try to render itself. The uh, other states... Who knows what's wrong with them? Probably some like inversion problem. They're probably rendering, but they're not. Um, so this, as I said, this is the old assembly line conveyor belt from the 164 and previous versions of assembly line. Not too complicated. It is a Techni model. Uh, it is animated. What you're seeing the glitchiness. That's probably the animation trying to run, but it's failing really bad. Um, right now I've got a client update loop that should be running to update this. Probably not loading properly. Probably not doing what it's supposed to be doing at all. But the part that is important is this is all done via JSON. This magical, magical JSON system. Now I've recorded a previous video that actually shows me working on this. And the slime just, yeah, slime just mag magic himself onto that conveyor belt. Interesting, I probably get some feedback on that too because uh, I got my speakers on, I got my head headphones off. Actually, let me, let me rephrase this. I got my headphones on and not plugged into the speakers. I'm all kinds of special today. But the, t the new technology is this for loop. It's designed to build up all of the render loops and we're using a couple of them. So we're using um, one for this to build the textures and we're build using a combination of three of them to build all of the states and it does work uh, it is putting all the states out I don't know why only the one wants to render probably something really dumb like these aren't populating properly or it's not looping properly I'll fix it later but the cool thing is assembly line is finally starting to come back into functionality also I got the infinite chests to actually look like something now uh, this thing's been slowly working its way and chewing its way through resources. Let me go ahead and upgrade it here. I'm gonna, I, I swear I'm going to ag make actual upgrades for this here later. But look at that. Speed. These actually all work. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be back here with another video when this actually is functional. But I just wanted to, to kind of share that... I'm going to be adding conveyor belts back to a semi-line here pretty soon, and they are going to work, and they are going to do exactly what they're supposed to do.